Hey everyone, how's it going? Just wanted to make another add-on spotlight video here. This time we are checking out Loot Drop. Uh, now this one changes the way that the uh, loot history window appears at the bottom right of the screen. So if you have the setting turned on, found in Gameplay, Loot History, the default mode looks something like this. There you go. It's a bit big. Uh, I do like how it shows you what enters your craft bag, uh, so if I picked up something that was uh, like an item or piece of armor, it would not have that little craft bag symbol next to it. Uh, let's see if I can find something else to demonstrate. Where's that rabbit keep running off to? There we go. And there we go. So because guts count as a fishing item, it then goes into my craft bag. Uh, which, like I mentioned, was that little bag symbol that pops up alongside that little icon. Now, it but is, like I mentioned, a little bit big. It does not stay on your screen for very long, and you can't move it around at all. And it's just a, it's a little non-descriptive when it comes to gaining experience and the like. So, if I flipped over and turned on Loot Drop, you would see something a little bit different. Okay, so here we are with Loot Drop turned on, and my first test will actually be right there with the butterfly. So, if I go up and activate it, there you go. You'll see that the loot window appeared right down here at the bottom. You'll notice it's staying up for a pretty long amount of time. Uh, you'll kind of see at the very bottom there was a white outline below it, and that denoted the rarity of the item. So. There you go. You can see kind of the white outlines here. It just shows that it's a very common item. And in the parentheses off to the side, you'll actually see how many I currently have in my inventory, which is a really nice feature. I'll show you again real quick here with the crush weed. There you go. And it'll say that I picked up three crush weed. Now if I attack, I don't think I get any experience for animals. Let's see if I can find an actual enemy. Here we go. So we've got Saber Cat here. So once I start attacking them and they start dying, uh, pay attention to the bottom right again, and you'll see that I'm actually getting a loot window for my experience, which is really nice. Okay, there you go. You can now see that it popped up at the bottom. So I gained 866 experience points for that, uh, which now puts me at 94% of the way through my experience bar, which if I opened up my character window, that's about right, yeah, 94%. So it's a great way of accurately seeing how far along you are progressing in your level, and uh, if you open up these settings here, this is real where the real power of the add-on comes into play. So you saw, for my experience as an example, you saw the number of experience points that I gained, and you saw how far along I was in my experience bar. So it said it was 94%. That's using extended. Now I can show standard, which will show me just the uh, points of experience gained, and it will not show me the percentage um, how far along I am in my experience bar. That's standard. Or I can turn it to no, which does exactly what you would think. It has it so that it actually doesn't show you any experience gains, and you will just have to rely on the experience bar that shows up at the top here uh, once you've gained <clears throat> a certain amount of experience. So that's what that does. And you can do that same kind of tweaking for the different options because you can see gold which will again show you the exact amount of gold that you have and tell var uh, and it'll show you how much you have lost or gained i think since the last time the menu popped up uh, so that's again a good way to keep track of your money that way loot so if you actually don't want to see any of the items you pick up but you just want to keep track of your experience or gold this is also a way you can do it 
and you can have it where mail, name, and inventory stack loot and all that stuff, you can change those settings as well. And you can turn on to show the style of loot, and should we send trash items as junk in the inventory bag. So you can turn that on as well if you want to start um, cl clearing out your inventory as you're picking things up, is the way that I believe it should work. Now. This treasure chest will be a great way to demonstrate uh, what it's like when you get multiple items at a time. You can see how well it stacks. Uh, unfortunately, I'm a really bad lockpick, so I might mess this up. Come on. Oh, come on. I'm usually pretty good at this, I promise. Okay, there we go. So you can now see Ebon Mace of Shock. I gained... is that... Yeah, that's Legiderman. I can never pronounce that. So yeah, those are the uh, those are the settings that you can change, at least the main ones. Uh, there are a couple more down here. You can uh, have crafting XP to where it gets stacked or not stacked on top of itself. Uh, guild reputation, fence XP, book knowledge. You can have all of those set to display or stack or not stack. Up to you. You can change the duration that the items stay on screen. You can change the width of the entry, so you can have them extended further out to here if you want. Uh, you can change the height of the entry, the padding, so that they're not so tightly stacked together. Uh, so you could have them spaced apart pretty high, actually. So I can demonstrate this here. Uh, we'll have the width be higher, we'll have the height be higher, and we'll have them display for a pretty long amount of time. You can have them stack up, which means that they will start down here and then move up as you collect more items or you can turn it off to where they will start stacking up here and then move down. You can turn rarity border on or off and you can change the font size and even the style which is kind of nice. Uh, now default is the one that you've been looking at. Pocket is uh, one that's a bit more colorful and Rushmilk or Rushmik is actually my personal preference. So I'm going to show you that one as well. You can lock and unlock the frame, which brings up this window, so you can actually move the loot drop wherever you would like. So let's move it right here for an example. And then lock that when you're done so that the window goes away. And then you even have these chat options, uh, so that you can have them uh, have these options and stuff show up in the chat and uh, things like that. So that is it for the options. Let me show you one final example with all of those settings that I changed, because I see a treasure chest over here. Uh, so that's going to be a perfect way to demonstrate. And hopefully I'll be a little bit better at actually picking this lock. <laughs> oh, not off to a great start. Oh, come on. There we go. Alright, and there you go. Now you can see, you can actually change quite a bit of it. Uh, you can see that they're padded out further apart. Uh, the style of the background is a little different. Um, and there you go. You can actually see that that's a Draugr style, and the one before it, I kind of missed it, was Orc style. So you can have that those show up as well. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, and that is it for me with this video. It's a real short one. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot to really demonstrate here. It just changes the loot window a little bit. Um, thought it would be better if I just got right to the point with it so you guys could take a look and see what the differences are. Uh, do not forget to subscribe if you want to keep up to date with my newest content. Uh, hit the like button and comment down below if there are any mods that you would like me to take a look at in the future. Alright, I'll see you all next time.